Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are beginning the new game Assassin's Creed China, or I should probably say beginning a new game, not the new game, because this game came out in uh, February, no excuse me, April-ish of 2015, so we're a little bit newer, but we're not quite current yet. Uh, so, this is Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, and this takes place after the short film Assassin's Creed Embers. You can find it on YouTube, I will link to it in the description if you have not seen that yet. Um, please do so. It is an awesome little uh, video and it shows Ezio's later life and it shows the meeting between our protagonist here in Chronicles and Ezio and some of her training. So I will wait, go see it, come back, we will talk then. Okay, so I'm gonna assume you've seen it now. <laughs> so China takes place in approximately 1526 in China, the country, of course, and it focuses on the series' first female protagonist, Xiao Jun. Um, and like I said earlier, she was trained by Ezio, and after that she returns to her homeland to exact vengeance upon a group of Templars known as the Eight Tigers, and they have gone through and wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood. So, you know, our, our quest is to take care of them, and then I assume we're going to be the mentor or something, and then, uh, you know, we'll build the Brotherhood back up again. Uh, and this is the first of the Chronicles. And there are a couple more. There's the Assassin's Creed Chronicles India and Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. So, without too much more waiting here, let, let's get going. Okay, China, 1526. It has been two years since a Zhang Yong, the leader of a corrupt group of... Unrix, known as the Tigers, wiped out the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins. These Tigers are Templars and secretly run China from the shadows, using the Emperor as nothing but a puppet. Xiao Jun, one of the few survivors, has returned under the orders of Wang Yang Ming, the new leader of the Assassins. Together, they plan to hunt down the Tigers and free China from its Templar control. They return to their old home, the Megashan Garatos, once an assassin stronghold. Now it is a Templar prison, run by Gao Fang. To get close to their target, Xiao Jun allows herself to be captured. She carries a precursor artifact given to her by Ezio Auditor. This is the little box at the end of the video, by the way. Knowing that, the Templars will want answers about the artifact and ensuring her imprisonment. The box is empty, or should I say, incomplete. Where is the rest of it? We know who you are. We know who you were. You've come far for someone who was merely once a concubine. I will ask you again, assassin. What is this box? Where did it come from, and what is its purpose? Why continue to resist us? Look around you. No one is coming. We wiped out your order. There is no escape from here. Why would I want to escape? I am exactly where I want to be. Such arrogance! Ma Yong Cheng will make you talk. Let him try. No wonder your kind fell so far. My kind isn't done yet.
All right. So I love the art style in this game. The almost like watercolor type. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just so amazing with the smoky, uh, two-dimensional, almost animated look to it. So mission number one, the escape. So in 1526, the Maijan Shan Garados, after allowing herself to be captured in order to get close to one of the Zhang Yong's tigers, Gao Fang, Xiao Zhan must now escape her cage and recover her equipment. Once she has her way, her wow, her weapons, her weapons and tools, the hunt for Gao Fang begins. So, this one we have a little ranking system that gives us points and upgrades. I'm not sure exactly how the upgrade system works yet, but uh, we get, I think, once we complete this, we get increased health and 550 points. Or, or maybe it's our next upgrade is increased health and we get it at 550 points. But then we also have a secondary objective which will give us an additional hundred points. Uh, so for our second objective we must rescue the assassin informant Hong Liwai. Liwai? Let's go with that. Liwai. Alright. Yes. Let's get out. Okay. So escape the prison cell complete. Rescue the assassin informant Hao Leong. Hong Leon. Alright. So this game is remarkably similar similar to the game Mark of the Ninja, which I will hopefully will play at some point, but that's an awesome game as well. Uh except this is uh oh. Huh? Run she's guy. No, go back where you came from. Oh dear. Okay, so we don't want, we probably don't want to alert those guards. They look mean. Anyway, so as you will see later, this is a 2.5D side scroller. So what that means is the majority of the game, oh, it's right here actually. We are walking, you know, along the same plane, but then at certain locations we can move in and out of the background, like this. Uh oh. Oh, that dog got me. Run! Okay. Oh, I see. So I... If I, if I press... Versus if I hold. I, okay, so if you press A versus hold A, you get a longer jump. I try to have to make you use crouching and stuff. Ooh, and you can slide. Yeah. I wish Ezio climbed like this. Like, compared to Ezio, this girl's just, like, flying here. What's up here? Nothing up here? Alright, I guess not. Uh-oh. So there we go. So we get more points for getting through the level without getting seen and without killing people. All right. So this this game apparently wants you to avoid killing people. Don't remain very close to guards for too long. They will become aware of you and turn around. Ah. So they actually feel like someone's staring at them. That's a neat mechanic. Woo, shadow gold. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Alright, guards have an awareness cone. Stay out of it to avoid alerting them. Yes, we will stay out of their cone. Use your whistle to distract him. Alright, so we hold the left bumper and adjust the whistle area. Ah, I see. Modify the whistle strength. So... Interesting. Okay. Ah, I see. And we distract them. Awesome. Ooh. Okay. What are we gonna do? Ooh. Assassination. Ha ha ha! She's got a hidden blade in her shoe. Pick up bodies. Wow, she is so strong. She, like, just manhandles that guard. Like, he is twice her size, and she just, you know, picks him up and tosses him over her shoulders. Let's see if I can get this whistle working. There we go. Oop, is this a sword? Good to have you back, no. my friend. What is that? Okay. What did you just get? Oh. Okay, it's like some sort of rope thing. Toss him in the, uh... <laughs> in the... In somebody's dresser, or something. So I can assassinate people, and still it allows me to get the shadow gold. Bodies will automatically conceal when you assassinate from a rear hiding spot. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Press... R to activate eagle vision. It shows the guard's path in orange. And I'm a bright blue blob. That's wonderful. Okay. Oh, get up there. So he stops there. Hmm. So I need to, like, wait for both of them to turn around and then just come out of here. Like this and drop down, and then run. Should I bother assassinating these guys, or should I just run by? I'm just gonna run by, because... because there's no reason to kill them. Oop, I got the health upgrade. Uh-oh. Firecracker to stun the guard, press down to select the firecracker. Hold the left bumper. Okay. And then throw it like this. Oh. So he thinks like someone's shooting at him or something. Oop. But then they investigate you, which that might not be the best. Oh. So, according to this game, when guards are talking, they will not see what's going on behind them. Wonderful. They just become oblivious. Alright. So we get ourselves a shadow gold. Oh boy, there's lots of people here. Let's kind of wait in here for a second. Alright, so we need to run, I think, and get in here. Hmm. Will I be able to get past these guys? Yes. And then we can slide. Oh, get in there. <laughs> that was close. She didn't want to slide. What's this? 
my sword. A little distraction could help me here. I wonder, by little distraction, should I... Should I firecracker the guard when those two turn around? And then I can, like, run and jump? Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. <sighs> Go! Oh, boy. Um... Slide. There we are. All right, so we've got our sword. My revenge can begin now. Yes. Time to test your sword skills. Prepare to defend yourself. Hey, it's Ezio. I think that's Ezio. Oh. So go forward. Ah, we have to go Remember towards to the attacker. Your is about to strike. Yes, that's it. This time when you block, perform a rollover. Let's block it. Press A. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, she can... So if I get... Turn around. Perfect. This tactic is also good to escape from combat. Alright. Attack this enemy. Show me how you strike with your sword. Perform a standard attack with X. Alright. Good. Standard attacks are quick, but they deal little damage. Strike the enemy hard. Excellent. Huh. Heavy attacks deal more damage. See? The enemy is now weakened. Finish him. Finish him. Good. Fatality. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so this combat... This tells me that I really don't want to uh, find myself in combat on this game. Training is complete for now. My training is complete. Awesome. I feel like I fail <laughs> I failed and I'd probably be dead if this weren't training, but at least it's complete. What is this? Ah, now is when they t teach you how to slide. Alright. Complete secondary objectives will increase your level score. What's this? Okay, so we have some cages that it looks like we can jump over. Oh, looks like we have to jump over because there's no way over there yet. Aha. Well, it figures that he's our target, because it looks like he's the farthest away from everything. All right, so we can go here. Do we have anyone? No. Hello, Hong Wang. Hong Li Wai, excuse me, Hong Li Wai. Stay here. I'll get the key and get you out of there. Well, he's really not going anywhere. All right, we got the guy. Oh. So we can go on the face of objects, huh? Very interesting. Is 
So let's let's use our firecrackers again on this guy. Um, okay, so that guy's way over there. So when he turns around again, we'll use a firecracker on this guard and we'll need to run all the way out there. Okay. We're ready. Uh, firecracker. Nope. That button. Okay. Go. Alright. Let's get this guy. <gasps> Oh, crap. We've been seen. Um, we can salvage this. Let's... Maybe he's not coming over here. Hmm. Ooh, tricky. Tricky, tricky. Oh, I thought he was going to see me there. <laughs> but we got him. Get in there. Now we can... Ah. It's amazing how they've done this, like, almost 3D thing here. Okay, so we've got our guy... And now we need to find Gao Fang. Where is it? He's and he's right out here. So let's sneak, sneaky, sneaky. Uh oh, I feel like there's going to be a sword fight involved here. Oh. I allow myself to be caught. I was exactly where I wanted to be. Close enough to kill you. Where is the box you took from me? Far from your reach by now, assassin. One of your tiger brothers must have it. No matter. I will find which one, and retrieve it from his still warm corpse. Do you even know what the box is? I know it belongs to the Brotherhood. How naive. Thinking you can retrieve the box. Thinking that killing me will achieve anything. Killing just one of you will not give me the vengeance I seek. You are the first of the tigers to fall, but you will not be the last. All right. So. Ah, oh, we were so close. So out of the maximum score available of 1300, we scored 1280. And we got five of six animus shards. I don't remember any animus shards. So apparently this carries over from your previous playthrough, which is weird because I thought I cleared all my data on this. Anyway, so we have completed this memory. So next time when we return, we, uh, we will go through and play the second memory. Yes, and we will continue with Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have yourselves a wonderful night.